Rick uh, Pete Sessions uh, for the uh, tireless leadership that he exhibited uh, over at the NRCC, uh, along with uh, his uh, sidekick, Greg Walton. They have done a marvelous job. And I'm going to thank uh, all of our candidates, our supporters, our volunteers who've worked so hard uh, to make this moment possible. Let me just say this. It's clear tonight who the winners really are, and that's the American people. It was the American people's voice that was heard at the ballot box, uh, the American people's voice. And listen, I'm gonna be brief because we've got real work to do, and frankly, this is not a time for celebration. Not one one out of 10 of our fellow citizens is out of work, not when we buried our children under a mountain of debt, and not when our Congress is held in such low esteem. This is a time to roll up our sleeves, a time to look forward with determination and to take the first steps toward building a better future for our kids and our grandkids. Across the country right now, we're witness witnessing a repudiation of Washington, a repudiation of big government, and a repudiation of politicians who refuse to listen to the American people. Of course, this campaign's not over yet. To the folks out west where the polls uh, may still be open, this is the time to uh, seize that moment to make sure your voice is heard, to reject the spending sprees, the bailouts, the backroom deals, the takeovers, and all the nonsense, and to join your fellow Americans in putting Washington on notice. Because for far too long, Washington's been doing what's best for Washington, not what's best for the American people. And tonight, that begins to change. With, with their voices, the American people are demanding a new way forward in Washington. I'm here to tell you tonight that our new majority will be prepared to do things differently to take a new approach that hasn't been tried in Washington before by either party. It starts with cutting spending instead of increasing it. Reducing the size of government instead of increasing it. And reforming the way Congress works and giving the government back to the American people. And for all those families who were asking, where are the jobs? It means ending the uncertainty in our economy and helping small businesses get back to work. The people's priorities will be our priorities. And the people's agenda will be our agenda. This is our pledge to America, and this is our pledge to you. While our new majority will serve as your voice in the people's house, we must remember it's the president who sets the agenda for our government. Uh, the American people have sent an unmistakable message to him tonight, and that message is change course. We hope President Obama will now respect the will of the people, change course, and to commit to making changes that they are demanding. And to the extent that he's willing to do that, we're ready to work with him. But make no mistake, the President will find in our new majority the voice of the American people as they've expressed it tonight, standing on principle, checking Washington's power, and leading the drive to a smaller, less costly, and more accountable government here in Washington, D.C. <laughs> These are the principles our new majority will stand for. And we hope that, uh, Mr. President, you'll stand with us in the hard work uh, that lies ahead. Because we are humbled by the trust that the American people have placed in us, and we recognize that with this trust comes the responsibility to listen, and listen we will. Let's start right now by recognizing that this is not a time for celebration. It's a time to roll up our sleeves and go to work. We can, 
We can celebrate when small businesses begin hiring again. We can celebrate when the spending bid here in Washington has stopped. And we can celebrate when we have a government that has earned the trust of the people that it serves. When we have a government that honors the Constitution and stands up for the values that have made America, America. Things like economic freedom, individual liberty, and personal responsibility. Listen, I hold these values dear because I've lived them. I spent my whole life chasing the American dream. I put my, myself through school, working every rotten job there was, and um, in every night shift I could find. And I poured my heart and soul into running a small business. <laughs> Washington have become one of the core values of this great nation. I put my name forward and ran for office. So I want to thank uh, my wife Debbie, my girls Lindsay and Trisha, uh, my 11 brothers and sisters, and all my friends and neighbors in Ohio for giving me the chance to serve and the opportunity to stand before you ready to lead. Thank all of you. God bless you. And God bless you.